Welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. And as I'm sure you are already aware, we are both comic book collectors. Yes. Yeah, that goes without saying, I think, on this channel by now. Pretty much, yeah. I feel like we don't talk about it enough. That's, no, we really don't. No, but that's going to have to change because I've got this new toy over here. It's not quite a toy, but... Yeah, why would you call this a toy? I know we do a lot of toys, but this is not a toy. This is a precious. This is true, yes. This is a precious, this isn't is it? It's a very big precious, yes. That is one way to describe this, but okay, yeah. Basically, I've been looking at alternate storage solutions to my comic collection because pretty much everybody uses long boxes, mm -hmm. and that's all well and good, but they only protect your comics to a certain degree. As much as I like long boxes, I mean, they are the comic book collector standard you know they're not the easiest to use when you're trying to sort through and look for you know a particular comic to read really my biggest concern is just general overall protection because you know for the most part if you got a long box you're probably storing it someplace that probably shouldn't be stored not to say everybody's going to be you know putting it in their basement or their attic but a lot of folks probably are case in point i don't have a basement i have a storage unit but basically a lot of people are going to probably be storing their comics in places where water damage can be an issue yes. or any other kind of environmental hazard could just be insects gnawing on your stuff too there's all sorts of things that can happen and a long box only protects it so i know, I know oh god me. you're like scaring me because now i'm thinking i gotta go into storage well it's okay i had those same anxieties and that's why i found this on amazon over here yeah i'm really hoping this works out because i have a larger collection than you scarily enough yes yeah. so yeah today we are looking at from bcw this is their heavy duty short comic book bin sorry you just put the fear of god oh, okay. in me i I'll, need I'll to know that here. this is i I'll... need to know that this will work i'll take it from here <laughs> yes please so yeah i saw this guy on amazon it costs a heck of a lot more than the normal long box does it's made out of cardboard because it's made out of heavy duty plastic yeah so i i read a lot of different reviews about it and i didn't get this for quite some time because the reviews really scared me they really put me off a lot of folks complained about putting it together they said it actually wasn't as sturdy as it claims to be oh but then I saw other reviews that said, no, these reviews are wrong. They did things incorrectly. Oh. So that's what we're going to try and do today. Is we're going to basically see what's legit, what's not legit. We're going to show you guys firsthand because I think this could be a real game changer for yeah. our comic collection. So before buying this, I also recommend you do this too. Uh, so I watched on their Amazon page in the review section, there is a video by BCW, the official video of how to put this thing together. Because a lot of folks complained about the construction of it. Yeah. So we're going to watch that video. We're going to take a little break. And we're going to watch that video and basically see how this is made. If you're doing it right, it shouldn't take more than a few minutes. If you're doing it wrong, you're going to be there probably for a little while figuring it out. So I guess the other question is, does this come with instructions? We're going to find out when we open it up. I don't know if it does. Um, we will find out. Okay, because you know what? I'm going to be honest. I'd rather see if there's instructions in here first before we watch the video. All right, we can try that. Because I think that's really important <laughs> for a review. It's like, we want to know that we don't have to go to the video in order to, uh, you know, put this together. And the other important thing I did read from one of the reviews was actually to do this first. Does it loosen it up? No. You want to shake it because during shipping, it could have gotten crushed. Oh, so you want to hear for it. You want to make sure nothing is shaking or loosening there because things can break off and if they break off, it's a pain in the butt. You got to send it back. So it's good to <sighs> check before you open it. So without further ado, I think we should go ahead and open this thing, right? Yeah. I... Uh, you have a side on yours. All right, yeah, let's open your side up and see what it looks like. The big thing about this is that each of these should hold 150 comic books. Uh, we're going to try that out and see how many it can hold. And it also comes with a single spacer, a single plastic spacer, which you can order more of as well on Amazon. And uh, that's a spacer to help you organize your stuff. Uh, but we're going to see how this thing looks. Ooh. Looks pretty heavy duty already, actually. I gotta admit. I'm really liking how this looks right now. I gotta admit, yeah, this is actually... It feels nicer than I thought. I, I was worried about uh, it being... Oh, there are instructions. Yep, we're going to get to that. I was worried about this being a lot looser and flimsier. It definitely does not feel flimsy. Nope, okay, so that this is everything. That's everything. All right, so we have basically two of these very long plastic pieces. Um, we have two short end pieces. Be these over here. Mm -hmm. We have a floor piece. Which would be probably this. Yep, this yep. looks like the floor piece. And the partition. This is not the partition. No, 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 this is the partition. Oh, oh there's the partition. This is the height. partition. This looks like it's one of the short end pieces. It doesn't look difficult. Like, it really doesn't. I mean, they only have four steps. They do, again, they do put the tutorial video information here, which is great. But again, I would like us to be able to do this pretty quickly and easy. So I will say also, I watched the video to see if there's going to be any differences between what they say versus what they showed on screen. Mm -hmm. One of the things that they did mention was about like not necessarily snapping it all together at a certain phase to make sure things are fitting correctly. And lo and behold, that in fact is in the instructions. So that's Al good. Albeit it is missing some punctuation, but it's there. <laughs> it's okay. We don't have, you know what? This is nice and easy. Uh, it's all good. Who needs proper English or punctuation or grammar? Yeah. We're comic fans. Wait. What the hell? 
you apologize to everyone out there. I'm so there. sorry. I'm so, we deserve better than this. Yeah, and you don't, don't you insult the people out there. All right, let's put this in together. Let's do this. Okay, so I guess we start with... Oh, sh look at that. Are the pieces numbered? Um, no. No, okay. Well, that's okay, because it's two of the exact same pieces. That's true. Well, yeah, well, I'm sure it's, it only snaps in one way, though, so... Snap a long piece into a short piece. Well, that makes perfect sense, but which way does it snap? <laughs> oh, here, okay, it's got to be on this side. Okay, so this is a pain, and you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to squeeze it to make sure... It... Yeah, it looks like it's still a little loose. It's a little loose, but I got the main part. That's part of the problem with this. It's almost so simple that it's kind of idiot proof, but at the same time, it's so tight that it's like really hard to to make it work. It's it's really hard to finagle this properly. And we should add the reason that you are building this and not me is because you are physically the weaker of the two of us, and we want to see if someone who doesn't have as much upper body strength can do this. I know that's the truth, but at the same time, when you say it like that... I mean, I was trying to find a good way to say it. Look, I get it! Plus, I like building things more than you. Yeah, that's true. If you wanted to paint this, though, I'm your man. You don't paint this, though. You don't paint things like this. No. So you could decorate it. Yay! Let's bedazzle this comic book bin. No! We're not using a bedazzler on this! Oh, suddenly you don't want glitter in your comic book box? Yeah, that's what I thought. Here, why don't you give this one a try? Now that we've already established that I can do it. Jeez. No, no, I want to see you go through this now. Oh, yeah, use the momentum of, you, you use the pressure of what I helped build. <laughs> I mean, that is how this works. Yeah, I know. I think that's that's not in all way, though, is no, it? No, that's not even close. No, but it's in the holes, at least. That's a start. There's a little awkward hole in this thing, but yeah. yeah. Actually, it's not, no, it's, it's actually not that bad. No, oh. that was actually not Okay, bad. do it on the other side. I can see the tabs, like, not... So not... There's little tabs in the bottom here. Yeah, that's what you kind of need to line up. That's one of the things I read from people's reviews was that like their bin would fall, the bottom would fall out. Yeah. And that's probably because they didn't secure this all the way. And a lot of folks are saying just super glue it to be safe well, about the it. The other part is which I don't even think would do anything because this is like this is not. I don't think the type of the surface that adheres to super glue. Yeah. So we're gonna slide walk the floor box down the channel. That's English? Slide slash walk floor of box down the channel. Oh, there's a slash in there. That was what was unclear. Smooth side face is inward. Sorry, my English... No, no, smooth side face is inward. Oh, I have the smooth side walk slide down the face box. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're terrible. <laughs> but what we don't want to do is um don't snap the floor into the sides just yet. So I guess we're putting it into this part, but not fully snapping it into the sides. I think this is also the, one of those parts that they had they mentioned like being a little bit careful about. Yeah, so just be careful not to push it in all the way. Okay, okay it, you can get that side. Yeah, so it's actually. Yeah. That needs just a little more sliding to get all the way down there. Yeah, because it's not fully in. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to snap it. Eh. Yeah, that kind of just snapped. We had that no snapped choice. by itself. I'd not do that. <laughs> we had no chance to stop. Okay, that. now you have to just get that part in. Well, good luck, everyone. <laughs> That's getting snapped. Oh, okay. Um, Snap into it. I'm getting this more or less lined up, but you should. Yeah. Do, you finish it up. I think, no, I think you pretty much got it. No. See, there you go. There's that final snap. It's the final, it's it's one the here, final snap down. Yeah, you really want to get those tabs all the way through, because that's what's going to secure this. So if you don't get those tabs through, that will be why your thing falls apart. Yeah. Self-explanatory. Pretty much. So that's, oh, that's a nice... This seems to be pretty much it, and then... There we go. That's basically it, more or less. I mean, there's still some more tightening to do, but in a, in a quick nutshell, it's, I think that's it. Yeah. I'm wondering oh. why this isn't going down all the way. I don't know why this is working. There oh. we go. Oh! So I did not know it did that. So you got to pull it down in order to get it to latch properly? So check this out. It actually locks. That's why it wasn't sliding down. That's there's cool. this little, you can see there's like space where you can slide things. Oh. That's the lock. So you get it down, there's tabs on the inside. And pull now it. your box is secure. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Okay. So as opposed to like a normal long box that would have a cover on it that can just yeah. fall off or whatever, this doesn't have that. So that's how that looks. That's actually surprisingly solid. And to be fair, it wasn't that much of a pain to put together at all. It really didn't take long. It took us longer because there's two people trying to figure it out. It always makes things harder. And also because it's it, it's a little difficult to snap everything into place, let's be honest. Yeah, it was not too hard. It wasn't too easy either. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, like the instructions are easy. The instructions are actually very simple. You just have to pay attention to what you're doing. And also, if you're someone like me who has absolutely no hand strength, make sure you have someone on hand to help you. 
Now we also have this divider over here. We'll just leave that in a minute, but we're going to see how many comics we can fit in here. Now, yeah. I don't think we have 150, but we no. have a bunch. So we also have some other books and things here. We're going to try and load this up with a pretty good amount of weight and see if it can hold together. Cool, and then we're all going to see if you can lift it. Yeah, actually, there's a concern of mine I had because looking at these finger grips, mm -hmm. they're not, there's not a lot of space. You're basically going to use just okay, the first I, part of your finger to pick this up, and uh, that worries me. I can tell you right now, because I've had a lot of experience with this kind of grip, this would be a, bit, a hard no for me. This is definitely the kind of thing you would just put somewhere and not pick up that often. Yeah, this would have to be stuff that is, you know, in the collection that's, you know, for sentimental or whatever reasons. It'd be like me putting all my Transmetropolitans away and then reading the trades. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's actually what I want this specifically for, is for some comics we're going to do another video about sometime soon, actually. I want to use this for something special. Uh, but they do stack. That's what you'll notice. These things up here are for. I only have one because I wanted to buy it to test it, but if you have more, you can stack. Okay, that's cool. And that might be another video another day if I get more of these, if I like this, to see how much weight it can hold of itself also. Yeah. But now that makes me kind of sad, though, just thinking about it. If you can stack them, which is awesome, I would then want to be able to pull it out so I could then stack them and have, and then be able to look through everything. I don't think this is a perfect system, but no. I think it's a step up from to the yes. long boxes. No, no, absolutely. I agree with you on that. It's just... That makes me really sad. Well, let's see if we can make ourselves a little bit happier and see how many books we can fit in here. Okay. Go get them. Go get them, Tiger. All right. Here is 10 oh, comics. Ten loves 11. Now you think I can't count? I don't know. Maybe I miscounted. I need to know for my sake one. 11. And you're... 9 makes 20. <laughs> Are you sure that's... <laughs> you're upside down. You're upside down. And you don't hear me complaining, do you? Constantly I hear you complaining. Constantly. Ooh, roses are red, violets are blue, Hubert's a hopper, and this place is two. Frogger eats flies. Jeff is a wimp. I'm not wimpy. I play Popeye. What? It's on the back of the comic. That's 30, weirdo. Here comes 40. Are you, are you sure that's 40? Yeah, sure. 50. <laughs> You're not getting 50 with me. Oh, I had this one. Follow me, X-Men, or Professor X dies! <laughs> when doesn't he die? Yeah, right, he was always dying. He's always dying. Do you want to try putting the partition in now? We're at 60. We're at 70 now, and yeah, I guess we should try the partition. See how that works. So there, there's like, how many holes in the bottom? There's, okay, so there actually are selected spots already for you, and that just basically should slide in, line it up, more or less. Yeah, there are little holes at the bottom so that you can just... You know, slots. There are little slots at the bottom. So you can hold, you know, line it up, sort of. It'd probably be easier if they'd there put the lines right straight through, as opposed to just a little notch here and a notch on the bottom. I guess it's also, the less wiggle room there is, the better yeah. in that case, because if it just snaps off. Yeah, I guess. This is definitely safer for not snapping off. That's true. It's so, not bad. So we're at 70. Okay. We're going to keep going. Oh. Ah, Wolverine. Ah, Punisher. 90s. Ah, Vision. Oh. We're at 80 right here. 80 is a good spot. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, which one is that? Warzone 1. Oh, okay. That was a good issue. John Rita Jr. Ah, classic. What a collector's item. I can't see. Oh. You don't even need to see. You can tell. You know what it is. You mean the thing that they couldn't give away? <laughs> yeah. So, 90! Ha, 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 ha. 100? 100. 100. I don't know about getting everything in there. We might need to move the partition, actually. Uh, and we should add, a few of these, to be fair, are annuals, so they'll look yeah. bigger. They're double the size of comics. Yeah, but you know what? I, I want to see up. what we can do. And like, where you we know, get. this one here, Death Superman. This is bigger than 32 pages. 120. And I only have a few handful of others, but yeah, there is a lot of room up there. There's currently 120 in there, and uh, there seems to be some decent wiggle room, actually. Yeah. If you're moving stuff around to adjust, that's a, that's a very tight up section okay. up here now, but... Yeah. I think that's probably enough to fit another, what, what'd you say, 15, 20 maybe normal size yeah. books? So I would say, yeah, 150 is probably accurate I mean, if they're normal size books. Yeah, we got a thick boy here. We got the super size 30th anniversary issue of Amazing Spider Man. I like that issue. 365. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot of annuals. There's a lot of thicker ones in here. There's a few tr small trades or a few of the small yeah. graphic novels, like, like the Punisher, Ghost Rider, Wolverine book that John Rita Jr. did. Um, there's a few thicker books, so I think you can hold 150. I think so. That's how many are you left to there? There's like five or six more here. So okay, I'm not, so I'm not we're at about 125. I'll put them in. Let's finish this. All right. Well, let's try it because I, I do want to actually try and lift it. We'll see how painful this is and if it can support its weight. Oof. We're gonna see if this can close again. 
It is a little bit of a... There we go. Oh, no, no, it was fine. Yeah, you once you line it up properly. It yeah. slides, so you have to get yeah. it in and we'll lock it in place. It locks. That's Oof, easy. That's that part's nice. nice. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, it's definitely heavy. Oh, dang. Okay. So I'm going to stand up so I don't get a hernia. Lift yeah. with my legs. Please do. Because, uh, yeah, you don't need another hernia. That does not feel too bad. It feels like a lot of books. Uh, it does kind of suck that it's this many, but I think it's also why it's short. Is it holding the weight? I think so, yeah. I would say, yeah. Yeah, that looked good. I mean, again, I cannot stand these the short finger grips. I agree. I don't like that either. Yeah. But luckily, it's not that many books. If it was bigger, if it held like 200, 250, 300, like no. a proper full-size long box, no, you need to have legitimate grips. That's the thing, too, with, with like a normal full-size long box. You're only getting the space within the comic thing, too, so you might even you might have even less space than this. Yeah, no, no, I, I get what you you're saying. It. No, I get what you're saying. It's just, I'll, as somebody who's done a lot of... <laughs> you wouldn't know it by looking at me, but I've lifted many of boxes. Um, it's always the shorter ones. Even though I have the tiny hands, that shouldn't, in theory, it shouldn't be as big of a problem. Yeah, the, these shorter grips have been murder for me. Give me a good, you know, longer grip, and I'm like, yeah! You need a good deep grip. One of the uh, the trick dumbbells in weightlifting is the inch dumbbell. It's named after the creator. Not, not that it's an inch. But the thing is, it's got this super thick handle, so you can only use this part of your finger to grab it. Yeah. Which is what makes it so difficult to pick up off the ground. And that's kind of what this is, too. It's very short. It would definitely benefit from these parts being bigger, so you mm -hmm. can get a deeper grip. And it doesn't need to be an open area, because yeah, obviously oh, the no, idea here is to protect this from the elements. Yeah. But, yeah, having something a little bit bigger here, somehow. W uh, it, would, it would help tremendously. Yeah. yeah. And if that meant upping this price by, like, 10 bucks to have deeper pieces of plastic on these sides, that's It would be fine. worth it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's worth it. Uh, I will say, though, for this price, which I think it was somewhere between 30 and 40 you can find this Oh, for. that's not bad at all. No, it's a very good price, because, I mean, yeah, in terms of waterproof, it's pretty close to being not 100% waterproof. I think no. you actually can get a little bit of water on it, but yeah, uh, it's close. still definitely better than cardboard. Yes, it's absolutely better than cardboard. I like the general structure of this. I will say that by having this weird design with, you know, <laughs> which basically looks like supports, the support structure, yeah. it does scream, please, dust, come to me. I need to dust be dusted off all the time because I am an attention whore box. I will say it's already yeah. covered in dust. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> it's, it's been that's wow. the thing with, with with the color black. It attracts more dust, whereas the color white tends to reflect dust, keep dust off of it. Mm. The normal cardboard long boxes are white, but they're also cardboard. So again, you're dealing now with moisture and things like that. And insects have an easier time getting into your boxes. Uh, so, you know, it's it's a give or take kind of thing. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying like this specific structure. Um, it's trapping dust. Like up here, you take a brief thing, you go, woof, it's over, it's done with. But here, it's gonna collect. Yeah, it totally will. It's so. gonna collect hard. You know, it's black and it has these, you know, basically these dust catchers. It will catch a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, a lot of grime, so you will need to clean it. Yeah. But that's not the worst thing either. It's I guess. not the worst thing, but at the same time, was it necessary? I don't know if it's a design choice. And like you said, it could be a structural design choice, maybe. If it's a structural design choice, that's one thing. And, you know, hey, I'll support it. But if it, they could have made it a little bit better. It if, could have just been flat. Yeah. But I do think it's meant to be structure because otherwise yeah. they could have done this as one thick piece and one solid thick piece. And that would have definitely held better. But that probably would have weighed a little bit more, would have upped the price. Yeah. This is kind of the way to keep it thick. And make yeah. it load bearing, I think. I think that's why it's like I, that. I think that it is too. I just, you know, I wish they'd included that kind of information in this. I know it's such a small thing. I know that. But you want to know these things in advance, you know? Yeah. It is part of the upkeep of the box. So knowing that you're definitely going to have to put more effort into taking care of maintaining the box is, you know, it's something good to know. Now, speaking of things that you should know, we mentioned it earlier. I'm going to say it again here. So in terms of the partition, when you buy this, it only comes with one slideable partition, but if you want to buy more, you can. They come, I think, in like packs of five on Amazon, okay, so you can sense. get plenty, plenty more. Uh, I really wouldn't probably, probably put more in there, and to be honest, I don't think I would fill this as full as this is right now. Uh, I was actually planning on like putting about maybe 100 in there at most, and I was going to leave a lot of empty space so the weight wasn't too much, and maybe put like a toy or something there, like you know, a sign toy or something else like that. Yeah, for you up. that makes sense. For me, I would want to load it. Like I said, this is one of those things where... I like the idea behind it. I like the concept of it. I don't know if it would be good for me, though. I want to also add to one other point. You can see it on your side. Mm. There is a little space to like kind of put an ID card or something. Oh, I do like that. That, that part's cool. cool. So you can actually put nice little labels. And it looks like you could probably slide things in and out of there. Yeah. But that also is a space where mm -hmm. there's an opening. So it's not, again, this is not completely sealed off. It is absolutely a free space. Um... Yeah, moisture, insects, any anything could get into that. Like, I'd say maybe an insect. I don't think moisture as easily because it's such a small area and you are kind of like, if it, unless the water's coming at an angle, if it's just like a drip or whatever, I think you'd be 
better off. It's still <sighs> something, but it's not as bad as a long box. It, again, it's not as bad as a long box, but I will say that there have, <laughs> there have been a lot of reports recently of a lot of flooding you know, happening all across the U.S. I don't know what it's like in the other countries, but I know for us, we've been getting a lot of flooding in different areas. This would be something I would be afraid of. Water would absolutely get into this. Um, it would not be as bad as a long box. Nothing would be as bad as yeah. a long box, you know, but I do think that it's important to point this out because part of why I was checking to move this, moving this around is uh, I can see the comic book moving in this space. It's, lo it's yeah. large enough that you can see it. And if it's lo large enough that you can see it, something can get into it. Yeah, and that's why I'm also thinking don't fill this all the way. Get yeah. another part, get two partitions so that basically you can oh, then have one idea. partition on one side. Because there, there are spots for one, two, three, four partitions. So get two of them, put one at this spot, put one at the other, yeah. lock it down. And then even if water does get in here, it's not as bad. That's not, not nearly as bad. And then this, it's another layer of protection. Yeah, there. that's a good idea. Yeah, because it's still pretty decent. And if this is down there, it should block a lot of. It'll act as a dam, basically. But again, that's why I wouldn't overload these things. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah. I, I'd still say for like for your everyday collection, cardboard mm -hmm. is fine. For your valuable stuff, this is what you yeah. want to get. That's honestly how I'm going to approach it. Because it is way more money than a typical long box because yeah. of the fact that it's made of plastic. I, I think using it for your valuables is a great way to approach this. I would hope that going forward, they maybe create another box similar where you can pull stuff out. Hmm. Because that would be the dream for me. You know, get some security, get something to lock it down. But then if I want to read it, you know, yoink. It's just an easier kind of thing, but I do like this a lot. So I think basically our review is that it's very, very good, but it's not perfect. Yeah, it definitely has room for improvement, um, but it is pretty worth, I think it's worth the price point. I agree. And and I can see myself getting a few more. Yeah, I could absolutely see that happening. And I think for, I could even see myself getting some because there are parts of my collection that I definitely don't visit as much as I would, as I wish I did. But yeah, it, it's, it's pretty cool. So I'd say it is a game changer, but there's still room for someone to come along and improve on that even more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So this isn't going to be the last time you guys see this box, so because as you can imagine, I got this for a specific reason, not just to test it, but I do have plans what I want to fill it up with, and that is going to be a video on another day. I know nothing about this. No, you don't, because you're going to see a part of my collection you've probably never seen. And next time you see this bin, we are going to be boxing up and taking a look at all my autographed comic books. Oh... So until next time, I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. Stay tuned because we got a lot more things to lock down in this box coming very soon.